hello Arnold here welcome to my shop uh, today's topic is uh, whether you could trust your DRO and uh, I always thought you know I could trust it uh, but we'll see uh, this DRO I was already on mounted on the mill uh, when I got it a year and a half ago and I've always used it uh, uh, as it was a precise instrument uh, disregarding backlash in the table uh, it was always measuring the exact position but uh, the other day I was um, testing uh, a method of measurement for my uh, some sign bars that I'm making and I ended up testing my DRO and I'll, I'll demonstrate for you how this goes about. Uh, on another note, I haven't been uh, able to post to YouTube lately. Uh, the graphics card on my computer went bust so I don't have any means of editing. Uh, so this video will be posted uh, using my work computer, uh, the laptop, and, and hopefully without any editing. So my setup here is a gauge block, 70 millimeter, and I have another rung onto it, a 5 millimeter, so 75 in total, because uh, that's the distance I need to measure or compare to on my uh, sign bars. Uh, these are the sign bars I'm, I'm making and uh, uh, the distance from this face right here uh, to this uh, face is 75 millimeters so that's the reason for for this I also have a smaller gauge block running on to the edge or, or to the end here just to create a surface on the same side as this one so I can measure with my dial t uh, uh, test indicator on this surface and then go down here and measure on this surface. That was a trick I, I learned from uh, Stefan in Germany uh, and I've been using it several times since then. Um, so let's have a look. I, I have checked that this is parallel to the x-axis so, that, so there's no deviation uh, I don't want to spend time uh, demonstrating that, but you just have to trust me on that. So I'll, I'll zero the indicator on this surface, and then I'll zero the DRO. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the DRO. And I, I try to move a little bit of a distance from this side uh, just to make sure there's no error introduced uh, in the table somehow so let's see okay so that's zero and I also have zero on the DRO like that then I have to move over a slight distance on the y-axis but it shouldn't introduce any errors and I then move 75 millimeters according to the DRO this direction and I show you on the DRO you can see the x-axis And now you can see the test indicator is just touching that surface on the same side as this. And we have 10 hundredths of a millimeter off. 
and I don't understand. I mean, this is a deer row counting to to in th thousands, even though you know that might just be a random number. Uh, it is a cheap DRO. I don't know the exact price, but uh, it's uh, probably a Chinese product. Uh, but this surprises me. And sometimes when I go back, to the other side and I try to overshoot a little bit and go back this way just so I, I'm always coming from the right the same direction let's just zero it on the DRO okay so that's not so bad half a half a hundred sometimes I get 100 sometimes I get 200 off and that's kind of weird too I mean the DRO should show me the exact position independent of backslash I believed maybe I'm wrong um, let's try and go a little bit further just an extreme distance here there I'm zeroed at the DRO So what the heck is going on? I don't understand. I mean, what's uh, where? Where's the error? I'll uh, appreciate any input, and uh, it might be my method of measurements. Uh, I'm not touching the table. I'm not hanging on it. I'm trying to measure from the same side all the time. Um, I know the the gauge stack is correct. I believe this surface is exactly the same as the surface on this block. I mean, I never heard of that you introduce errors when you bring gauge blocks together. So, so that should be perfectly the same surface. I've let them sit here in case I've handled them too much, you know, and uh, they should all be at the same temperature. So, let's just go back one more time. Uh, it's not that exciting to watch, I know, but uh, I just need some help in figuring out this Photoshop. Oh, the there. Yeah, so we have one less, one hundredth less this time because the measurement on the other side isn't correct. Or it was off zero, actually. So I'll, I, I appreciate any input on this. Uh, I just don't understand. Like I said, I didn't put the DRO on. There could be something wrong with the, with the, the, the glass rods or the way they're mounted. Um, I don't know, but obviously it can't be trusted, or is it me that can't be trusted? I don't know. Thanks for watching.